Good morning, children. Acha students, you all of you come in proper uniform. Yes, ma'am. Your shoes are clean. Yes, ma'am. Your uniform is clean. Yes, ma'am. Acha, do you like cleanliness? Yes, ma'am. Why? Why do you like cleanliness? Do you like dirty children? No, ma'am. Those are wearing dirty dresses and dirty bags and they have the big big nails. Do you like this type of children? not liking but uh, you do not like these children because dirty children always make the areas dirty and also they are they are not un they are unhealthy because dirty habits are very unhealthy so we should have to be always clean and clean so today i am going to teach a subject which is based upon cleanliness and this is the story of a standard 2 class you are studying in standard 2 yes or no you are the little kids and this is the story of standard 2 students and how the class teacher teach them how to remain clean and how to keep the surrounding clean okay so today your chapter name is let us clean the playground let's clean the playground now all of you open your book all of you open your book course book chapter 4 the bell rings loudly now all of you point your finger on your book i'm reading the chapter and then one by one i'll explain what is the meaning of these sentences so the bell rings loudly it rings loudly it rings once twice and thrice Listen, what is once, twice and thrice? What do you mean by it? What do you mean by it? Anyone can you say? That means the yes, but uh, no. speak in English. The meaning of once is one time, the meaning of twice means it is two times, and the meaning of thrice means three, three times. That means the bell rings once, twice, thrice. So in that school, when the bell rings three times, the children have their lunch time. The children have their lunch time. So the bell rings loudly. It rings once, twice, thrice, means the bell rings three times. Put our reader children, said Mrs. Das. So Miss Das was the class teacher of standard two. Who was the class teacher of standard two? Miss Das. Miss Das was the class teacher of standard two. And when the bell rang, she instructed the students, children, you just put away, you just close your reader book, keep it in your bag, and take out your lunch box and go for lunch. Take your lunch boxes, stand up, make a line outside the classroom. So we are studying in the school. Yes or no? So we are studying in the close means we have to maintain discipline. Yes or no? It is our first and foremost duty to maintain the discipline inside the classroom, inside the school. So teacher instructed the students, children, you make the line. Before going outside, you make the line like your teachers here, teachers, all the teachers are instructing you, go in line, go make one line, yes or no? Like this, the Miss Das also instructed her children, make a line and have your lunch box, then go out. Make a line outside the classroom, the children take out their lunch boxes, they stand up, they make a line outside the classroom. They walk down the stairs to the playground. Some children run out onto the playground. So when the teacher instructed make line and go out with her lunch boxes. The children, they were very happy. You just said you are happy like when the uh, tiffin bond lunch break time hota hai. You are having so much fun. Yes or no? During the break time, you are having so much fun. And you are just gossiping, running, you are doing something, you are to do something of your own. So like these children also make the line and take out their lunch boxes. They make the, they went out the playground. That means 
in that school the students are doing that making a lunch in the playground and some students they ran like some uh, uh, nutty student they ran also so they went to the playground to take their to have their lunch some sit under the tree some children sit on the benches near the wall they all open their lunch boxes so the children they went to the playground some sat under the tree and some also sat on the on the bench and they all opened their tiffin they also shared that tiffin with their friends like you children sharing your tiffin every day yes or no you are sharing tiffin your best friends so like this and also you are sharing tiffin those are not brought the tiffin yes or no so like this the children also the children of that school they also share the tiffin with each other they talk to each other they eat their lunch they go and drink water from the water cooler and they drank water from the water after taking their lunch they drank water from their water cooler the bell rings once more the children get ready to back into the classroom the the lunch time was over the lunch time was over so that's why the children they closed their tiffin box they wanted to come back to their classroom miss dash come out what happened no not that so the bell rings once more the children get ready to go back into the classroom so all the students they were get ready to go to their classroom miss dash come out and she is happy the children are standing outside in line why the class teacher was happy why the class teacher was happy can you say why the teacher was happy the teacher was happy because the students were standing in line that means the students are obeying the instruction of the teacher so miss dash was very happy then miss dash looked at the playground she does not look happy anymore because when teacher looked at the playground where they were eating their lunch she does not look happy more why because the playground was dirty the playground was dirty look at the playground children she says the children look at the playground it is full of toffee wrappers it is full of toffee wrappers pieces of papers lollipop sticks and plastic bags the playground was full of toffee wrappers plastic bags paper wrappers everything the children had brought the tiffin in different containers and they threw that container in the field don't does not that look bad said miss das and miss that asked the students children that do, is it looks good she asked to the students is it looks good you are throwing all the dirty things all the garbage on the trail, on the playground is it looks good the teacher the students were silent you must throw everything in the trash cans the playground looks so dirty so teacher told you see how the playground is looks dirty so you have to throw all the trash all the trash all the rubbish in the trash can mr s goes inside and come with come back with some big black garbage bags so uh, teacher told the student you just wait here you stay here and she goes she went inside the common room and she came with big black bags they were the plastic trash bags and the students all the students collected all the trap trap wrappers paper lollipop sticks and the plastic bags and put in that trophy in that plastic bag then they pick up all the trophy wrappers lollipop sticks paper plastic bags from the playground who oh, all the students combinedly they together collected all the trashes from the field and they put them into the big black garbage bag and they put in that bag and miss put miss dash put the bags in the large trash can and there were big big trash cans like in your school big big trash cans are there dustbins are there which are telling dustbins trash cans means these are the dustbins so the children the teacher took all the trashes and put it on the trash can 
the children wash their hands and they go back to the classroom thereafter the children wash their hands and go back the classroom so remember if from this poem what you learn so we have to be remember we have to remember what do you remember no more plastic bags we should not use the plastic bags why plastic bags are unhealthy plastic bags are all healthy so it makes our environment polluted it makes our environment polluted so no more plastic bags bring your lunch in paper bags so miss das now instructed her students you bring your lunch in the lunch in the plastic bags put all the garbage in the trash can we must keep our play around play around clean so put all these trashes trashes means all the litters all the garbage in the trash can and put it always keep your playground your classroom your surrounding we must keep our surrounding clean so that we will remain healthy if our surrounding will be clean we also remain healthy that's why every day the teacher taking your uniform whether it coming in in good uniform or you are coming in proper dress code or not why because you look smart if you come in proper dress code you will look smart and if you keep our surrounding clean then our environment will be healthy and clean this is the story about the your chapter let's clean the playground so from this poem we have learned so many new words so now children all of you take out your copy and i'll write down the words with its meaning so you also start writing with me now see the what are the new words we got from this story so now put the heading new words what are the new words we got and its meaning new words and its meanings this is thrice you got one new word thrice what is the meaning of thrice thrice means three times thrice times. means garbage ya litter ya rubbish garbage rubbish all these are called the trash then come trash can what do you mean by trash can container in which we put the rubbish the container in which we put the rubbish that is the dustbin in single word we can it make tell it dustbin got it then garbage the same thing garbage means also trash these are the new words we got from this poem garbage rubbish then garbage bag what is garbage bag garbage bag that means bag in which rubbish may be put the bag in which put got it this is the meaning garbage bag means the bag in which rubbish can be put then toffee toffee means the chocolates the sweets were eating that is called the toffee t o f f e e toffee toffee means then toffee wrappers so toffee wrappers what do you mean by this toffee wrappers the cover the paper in which have to learn some opposite words from this chapter and what are the opposite words i am telling you you just write it down okay so now here we have read very good then outside what is the opposite of outside inside opposite of outside is inside, inside. stand up means opposite of stand up sit down so it is sit down then uh, another word uh, work what is the opposite of work you can make you can make it run 
then under under opposite of under edge opposite of under edge down. over under over under means what down under means down so it will be over then back opposite of the back edge front back front back front then dati dati opposite is clean then pick up pick up pick up matlab what uthana you just pick up then throw so these are the words opposite words you have to learn right all, all everybody write it down in your notebook then you will learn it because tomorrow i'll ask the questions and i'm giving you some words to make the sentence so these are the some word simple words i'm giving you to make it the sentence okay make sentences this is the homework for you this is the homework for you so make sen i am giving simple simple words and you make simple sentences small sentences and simple sentences just like thrice stairs these are the we make sentence thrice i have written the meaning so you have to make the sentence the bell rings thrice before the lunch break like this is small small sentence don't run in the stairs stairs you make the sentence don't run in the stairs so another words playground children play in the playground dirty the classroom is dirty clean trash can so these are the words and another is the garbage okay children so write it down note it down in your notebook then you make the simple sentences using these words and these words for your homework and read the chapter thoroughly tomorrow i will take your reading test got it first i will ask questions what is the opposite of these words what is the meaning of these words and make sentences i will collect this homework then one by one you read inside the classroom before me okay children read the chapter thoroughly thank you children